What's good guys, it's Joseph and today we're going to be working on improving our flow and edits. So pretty much what I'm going to do is show you everything you need to know in order to improve your flow um, in editing. So I'm going to use a sniping clip you saw in the beginning of the video and pretty much just go over a little bit more in depth. It's going to be kind of like a syncing tutorial with timer map, but we're going to go a little bit more in depth in how we can make our flow a lot better instead of just syncing something up really quick. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to delete the uh, black bars, everything we don't really need. So all these effects, I'm just going to delete all of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, before we do, we're going to take a look at our song. I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch, actually. So if you want to look at all the keyframes I have on the uh, on the clip itself, we can go in the graph editor and see all the different timer map points on there so we're gonna be recreating that pretty much from scratch so the only thing we're not gonna do from scratch is put these markers on here um, as you can see I put each of an individual marker on there and the ones I ones I labeled shot is where the shots I want to be at obviously in order to do that when you're whenever you drag one of these markers over you just right click on it go into settings and then you know type whatever you want in there and press OK and you can type whatever you want if there's a specific note you want to remind yourself so you don't have to keep checking and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and press L twice to open up the wavelength of the song and before I do any kind of syncing or anything I'm gonna go ahead and delete these gunshots before I um, do anything I look at the song listen to it listen through it like press the decimal key and just listen to the song Girl, you got me so as you can see there's um, five markers five or six markers that I have here and this one's like a beat 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 it's kind of like a snare drum right here something like that it doesn't really matter there you can see it in the wavelength there are like beats that stand out and that's what I want to sync a different part of the clip to each one of those beats so before I start singing, syncing anything, I go ahead and mark out each one of the beats in the song that I'm going to be using. And then I kind of like use the song to change the clip. So like if there's a beat right here, I'll have something move pretty fast in the, in the clip. And it just so happens that the clip worked perfectly with this song. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I went through, listened to it, put markers down, and I wanted the shots to be here. And you kind of want to be like aware of where you put your shots at. You don't want to put your shots too close together or too far apart. You want to have a good amount, maybe like two or th two beat, one or two beats in between each shot. Unless you have like a pretty fast paced song going, then you can have like a couple shots like this, like say beat shot, beat beat shot, and then you can have like a beat and then like two shots in a row, like really fast, like say these two were shots. Um, it just depends on the song and what kind of like style you're trying to sync to. So that's pretty good. We got that so far. Um, this really helps you a lot having everything like listen to the song over and over again. You kind of just get it into your like into your mind and you kind of flow with the song yourself. So that um, carries over to when you're syncing a clip. And then I'm using timer map because I find it's easier to you know have flow with timer map. Because you can like, um, you can edit it like a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Control Alt Y or no no Control Alt T for timer map, and then I'm gonna press the right square bracket key next to the P key on the keyboard and delete this last one, and then press the left square bracket key. And I'm gonna start around right here and just drag the clip all the way over here. And then I'm gonna start where the first he kind of like lays down before his first shot so I'm gonna start as he's like getting up from being laying from laying down so that's where that is and then I'm not gonna like go into the graph editor and change these clips and change, I mean change these keyframes yet because I like to put them all out first and then I go back and change them 
And so then this is where the this is where the uh, he gets up. So he's like right here. So this is where I had it. So if you listen to it, he goes. Girl, you got me twisted. Girl, you got me twisted. As you can see, it starts here, beat, and then here's where the shot will be. And with timer map, as I showed in one of my other tutorials, you know, I would go ahead and put. You can sync it however you want. Just say that the shot's going to be right there. And then I'm just going to go quickly through that. Because I already explained that in my syncing tutorial. So he just shoots it right there. And then at this beat, I had him look like I had him go and pull this thing back. All the way back. And then I had it in the next keyframe before the shot. I put it to where he's aiming in just like that so he starts to aim and then the shot so as you can see it's pretty easy you just have to follow along with the keyframes you already made and there you go I got first two shots synced there we go okay and so I'm just gonna keep going with the net, last shot. I'm not, I, not, as you can see, I didn't, I didn't uh, sync the whole clip because I didn't really want to spend too much time on this tutorial. So there's the shot. So now you can see there's two beats before the shot again. So we're gonna have to find two things to sync the clip to before that shot. You just you don't want to like that means you don't want to scrub too too much forward in the clip. So I kind of had it where he kind of turns, and that's where I kind of synced it. I synced it as he was turning. And then for this one, it was kind of funky. I had him kind of aim in a little bit on this one. Or I kind of had him... So for this one, I synced it to where he turned it. He turned. And you're going to see this a lot when you're syncing uh, trick, when you're syncing sniping clips. So what I usually do in this situation, I back up two keyframes from the shot and I just scrub this forward to where he's barely aiming in just so you don't, because if you put it to where he's aiming in all the way, it looks, it kind of just looks really, really fast when you sync it because these, these beats are really close together. So if you just do it to where he's aiming in just a little bit, and then you go one keyframe forward, it kind of just like skips to the shot, and it, you can't really see it in real time when you're at, when you're watching the edit. So that's why I do that. I've done that. I always do that. Like I always have a clip where I do that, so you can see. It doesn't even look like anything is wrong and the edit looks a lot better because of it and then there's two more there's two more sync points so I'm just gonna go ahead and you know do the same ones I did he pulled he pulled the he rechambered the gun and then I had it to where he's he turns around here so I made it to where he like turned halfway and then I kind of just ended it and cut off the end of it and that was pretty much it. That's the whole clip being s synced right there. And you can RAM preview it and it will probably look like crap. But that's what timer map is for. That's what the graph editor is for. Highlight all these keyframes and then easy ease them. And then we're going to go do... This is where the flow comes from in the graph editor. So I like to go through each of them in depth. That's just what I do. So I... You click this little thing to see everything. I unclick it and then I go through, hold control and like scroll up. So you can make like a perfect square almost. So you can really get in there. And it kind of depends, you know, what you want to do with the first one. So now he's like laying down. It doesn't really have to be too fast. So I kind of had it a little bit slower. So I didn't like, I didn't, I didn't drag this up. Like, hold up. Can't, I didn't drag this up like as far as I could. I kind of just had, you know, a little bit, 
and I had like a little lead right here and you can kind of see it it's leading up to there and then I put just like a little subtle right there and that's where the shot is with that shot I don't really do anything with that curve because it doesn't really matter and then for after the shot as you can see I'm just scrolling through these keyframes and just like really taking my time and paying attention to what I'm doing and then more often times than not after I finish doing this I go ahead and do it again with the stuff that I already done because I you keep watching it over and over again you can see stuff that's like you can fix or you can make a little bit better as you're watching it but I'm just gonna go through it one time so there you go this is the shot I kind of made it a little bit more fast and then I kind of had this slow it just depends on what you're looking for I think that's looking pretty good so far again you're not really gonna tell be able to tell until you watch until you ram preview it so I'm just gonna keep doing this different little curves there we go and if you hold control you can even get into here control if you hold control and then scroll you can have a little bit more space to work with that's the shot don't have to worry about that one and you know it's kind of a tedious process but if you're into that the results are really good so there you go keep going keep going keep going almost there now I'm kinda just rushing cuz I don't wanna waste your guys time you get the point by now that this is pretty much the same thing as the last tutorial I just did so now here's where we get to the other part so for this one I did actually go in and change it a little bit kinda like this but for the shot I didn't and you know if you don't like it you can always go back and change it that's the the fun of editing you can always change stuff there we go hmm okay now this should give it a little bit more flow than if you just had it how we originally had it in the beginning with just the non easy eased keyframes so let's go ahead and ram preview really quick to see what we got it's gonna go slow first time Girl, you got me Cause as you can see that looked terrible so easy fix for that make sure this is checked put some frame blending on and I actually didn't have any frame blending problems with this I didn't really have to like you know fix any of it so let's see how it looks again it will take a little bit longer to RAM preview Girl, you got me So as you can see, the edit is coming together. Um, and right here, there's like a little part where it looks like it could be a little bit faster at this point right here. And you know, what you would do is highlight that, obviously, and then go back. And then, you know, make this a little bit higher or lower, depending on what you're looking for. And so just like be a little nitpicky with that. Take your time on it, you know, to make the best sync possible. And that's how you get that nice flow when you when you watch an edit and you can tell someone spent their time on it it's like the best feeling ever like wow this is really good like either they spent a lot of time on it or they just have they just have like a natural talent for it and more often times than not they spent like countless hours just perfecting it and you want to appreciate that when you can um but other than that for flow the syncing is probably the, the, mo the most important part when you're having flow. Um, obviously motion blur, when you put that on there, kind of blends everything together if you have frame blending on and effects. If you have good flow, you don't really have a need for a lot of effects. You know, just like a few subtle ones here and there just to spice things up a little bit or some screen pumps. But if you have a nice flow, you know, you don't really have to worry about putting a whole bunch of effects on there to make your edit look better. Cause once you have nice flow, you know 
everyone's gonna want to watch it no matter what because it's so good so other than that there's not really anything I'm sorry to sound like weird I'm sick so I know I wanted to make a video I haven't made one in a few weeks and hopefully you guys learned something different in this video I know I made I just made a uh, sinking sniping clips with timer map like version 2 I think and this is pretty much the same thing but I wanted to go over putting markers in looking through your song and you know different tips you can just to improve your flow and you know pretty much the most important thing if you don't want anything else in this video is always go back and change stuff because you're never gonna get it right on the first try you're like never even if you think you got it perfect on the first try I bet you there's always gonna be something you can change and that's pretty much me there's always something I can change even when I'm even when I think I'm finished with it I know there's a whole bunch of stuff I can change and I usually end up going back and changing some stuff but if you if you guys don't want to if you're not like that I'm I like those little tedious projects to work on you know that's just how I am but you know other than that if you guys uh, if you guys have any questions or comments you can go ahead and DM me on Twitter they're open my DMs are open on Twitter or you can send me an email or you can go ahead and comment down below if not I hope you like the video and um, I also have been thinking about more tutorials I can be working on but you know I'm kind of out of ideas I don't know what to do anymore that's why I haven't really been uploading that much I'm thinking about changing my channel bringing some changes and if you guys have any ideas I would love that if not you know I was thinking about you know making some gaming videos or playing through some different types of games because I love playing games and I play them all the time and so if I can make videos doing that if you guys would watch that you know let me know obviously let me know and I'll start doing that too I'll still keep making tutorials though if you guys want them but other than that hope you guys have a great rest of the day I'm out peace